The Ukrainian resistance has been incredible, Kira. How proud are you of the people of Ukraine? And as well yourself, you have put up pictures of yourself being armed. I mean, this must be a really frightening, unthinkable situation you're in at the moment. It is indeed unthinkable. It is indeed, uh, still, still after a week of war, sounds surreal. It sounds like a... Uh, like things uh, magically will go back to normal tomorrow. And um, we know that they will not. Uh, I'm, again, extremely proud of Ukrainian people because, uh, let's be clear, let's be honest, nobody in the world expected us to hold on for so long. Nobody expected we will be fighting so hard. Nobody expecting, and Putin was not expecting that. This is the most important. So right now we are getting lots of help and support throughout the world. We, we do really uh, get lots of love, lots of demonstrations, financial aid, medical aid, humanitarian aid, uh, and most of all, we, we get military support. Uh, we do need one more step, and I'm asking to everybody who can hear me from the politicians, from uh, citizens who can push politicians, is to uh, provide an off-fly zone for Ukraine. This is the most important part. You see our, our cities being bombarded by Russian uh, missiles. There is no way or no money in the world that can buy us the protection or the systems for the protection in the short term, and we cannot build it ourselves. So the question is for Ukrainian army to continue to fight to continue being able to stand up for the largest army, one's largest army in the world, and definitely the most aggressive, we need a protection from the sky. And we do know there are some complications from NATO in doing that. But Putin does not play by the rules. Putin does not uh, look up into paperwork and saying, oh, am I using the forbidden weaponry? Hmm, that's so bad. Am I using, uh, am I committing a crimes of war? Hmm, I maybe, maybe I should stop doing that. On the other hand, the, our European partners and NATO, they, they just all think, well, it's not written in our books that we can do that. And this is so frustrating because the only thing we are asking for help right now is this. Because the question if we win or lose in this war will come in if we are, will be able to protect ourselves from the sky or not. And right now, this is the most uh, complicated direction. We will continue fighting them on the land. We will do everything possible and possible. Men, women, children, uh, elder, we, we are all ready to fight for our country. We don't ask anybody to fight for our country. However, we do ask for support.